Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be ranking the top 10 best small forwards in NBA 2K24 My Team. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 14,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day, and I would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. And let's start off with number 10, which is going to be Robert Covington. I think Roko is really, really good. Um, and I think he's like one of the best 3 and D cards in the entire game right now. Still, to be completely honest, as a emerald and um he's six seven seven foot two wingspan um got decent speed very good shooter and a versatile good interior defender um, as well as perimeter defender just super versatile card good defensive badges nice smooth easy release he is very very simple he will shoot the three and he will defend and that is about all he's going to do but that is really really useful in my team and as he is still one of the best budget play cards in the game 100 percent every card in this top 10 is still usable at a competitive level and robert covington is definitely one of them ron artest at number nine very similar to robert covington another guy who is pretty much pure Pure 3 and D, a nice day one amethyst card, really, really good perimeter defender, great defensive badges, does have bronze post lockdown as well. He can shoot the three well, he's got good speed. He's not an amazing shooter in terms of his stats or his badges, but the release is super nice and smooth, and he knocks down his threes that are open with great consistency, and overall is a really, really nice option at the small forward position. At number eight, going in with Sean Marion. I think Sean Marion also really, really good option at the small forward position. I mean, he's 6'7", six, 6'10", six, wingspan. I like him at small forward or power forward i will say no anchor or clamps on him but a bunch of other good defensive badges um he's really versatile defender defends on the interior and the perimeter at a high level really good rebounder um, has pretty good speed and excel he's a capable shooter super fast release it is ugly but it's also fast so that can both be a positive and a negative but i do think he's actually a pretty good card all the way around even with the ugly release just a nice all-around option at the uh, small forward position in my team and he's good at small forward or power forward so um yeah i like like the card and i think it's fair to put him number seven number eight number seven is probably going to be grant hill uh i like grant hill i don't love grant hill at this point i think the jump shooting on this card is not incredible he's a pretty good defender and he's very athletic very fast um 89 speed and excel 85 driving dunk okay shooter and a pretty good defender as well i mean he's a really solid card honestly everyone from seven on up i think is a really really good card there's a lot of good cards in this top seven and grant hill is really solid he's athletic he's got a pretty fast release he'll shoot the ball okay he dunks the ball well and he's not even an awful playmaker either he's fast and he's got some good playmaking badges um does he have an 86 ball handle he does not but with a shoe he can get it to 86 ball handle which is going to give him the timing burst uh and his release is actually pretty good as well I like this Grant Hill card. I think he's super solid. I think he does a lot of things really well. I think he um, definitely deserves a pretty good spot on the list. At number six is going to be Jason Tatum. I think Tatum is one of the more versatile small forwards in the game. In terms of just having some solid badges in every single area, Hoff Slithery, Silver Poster, Azure, Bronze Fast, Twitch, Hoff Blinders, Silver Green Machine, or Gold Green Machine and Guard Up, uh, Silver Agent, Three Catch and Shoot, Dead Eye, Bronze Limitless. Even at playmaking, it's Silver Hands for Days, Bronze Bailout, Break Starter, Blow By, and then some pretty good defensive badges as well. He's a versatile card, statistically good, not a bad interior defender, got good speed, can shoot the three well, and he's athletic. Movement is all right. Release is nice. Really solid all-around card. Still an elite level option at the small forward position in my team is Jason Tatum, another day one card. Glenn Robinson came out on Friday, and he's a monster. A lot of good players. A lot of I mean, he's really, really solid. 85 speed and excel, 83 shot three at the small forward position, 90 driving dunk, 84 perimeter, 85 lateral quickness, uh, half bully, or sorry, half fast twitch. I forget if, what it is instead of bully this year. And then half corner specialist um, has handles for days, though. Defends pretty well. Uh, really good offensive card with a very smooth, easy release. Good movement and the curry slide, the size, the versatility statistically, the athletic ability. He's super athletic and a great slasher. I think he's phenomenal. I think top five small forward in my team team right now carmelo anthony is actually all the way at number four i think some people would have him at two or three i think four is fair he's not a good defender he's a different type of small forward than most of the cards on this list elite offensive card doesn't do anything defensively but he's a great athlete he's fast he can dunk and he shoots really well the shooting playmaking and finishing badges are all very very good defensively he's a liability low stats no badges not a good card on the defensive end of the court but he's a phenomenal offensive card with a phenomenal release d-book dribble style probably the best dribble style in the game besides Kyrie. um it gives him an incredible push cross and he is just a super good all-around card in my team definitely a top tier option um at the small forward position on the offensive end of the court defensively he's not there but that is okay he's still a great card scotty pippen because of the defense is at number three for me i value defense a lot of small forwards so for me even though pippen doesn't give me nearly what carmelo gives 
gives me offensively. Defensively, he's going to be much better. Still got capable speed, still a good athlete, and still will hit an open shot. He's not going to be a shot creator, but defensively, he's going to be elite. One of the best locks in the game. Really, really good defender. Still a great card. Still my backup small forward on my team. And will probably continue to be my backup small forward for a while until we see somebody like a LeBron James. When we get LeBron, Pippen's time will probably have come because I, you all know I will have to get LeBron James. But... I think he does definitely is fair at number three. Number two, going to be Kawhi Leonard, the best 3 and D pure small forward in the game. Uh, Kawhi is currently my starting small forward. Love this card. Amazing release. Fast, elite, versatile defender with high interior. Shooting, finishing, and playmaking badges aren't insane, but the shooting and finishing especially aren't bad. He's got an 86 balls handle, so he can time and burst as a base card. He's an absolutely elite defender, and he's got one of the smoothest releases in the game. Release is much improved this year off of last year, and I think he's an absolutely incredible card. But the best small forward in the game and it's not particularly close is still Kevin Durant now as great as KD is is he worth his lock-in no I think the small forward position is one of the less impactful positions but he's still incredible 90 speed at 610 with a 74 wingspan incredible shooter and amazing slasher but also a super versatile de defender pretty much 80 plus and everything that's super important um good defensive bad is he can get every badge and get every badge upgraded which means you can get him to gold clamps gold pogo gold interceptor gold challenger gold anchor gold glove gold brick gold brick wall gold speed booster all the badges that he doesn't already have you can get on him um and then his release is very good as well his movement is solid he's an incredible incredible card wish i had kd but also probably glad that i didn't spend the money on him but with that being said he is pretty easily the best small forward still in my team right now um but let me know what y'all think of my list in the comment section down below i think there's a good chance that a lot of y'all are going to think that i put carmelo too low uh and that makes sense he is an absolutely incredible offensive card but for me i think this is a pretty fair listing and i think honestly the small forward position is a really deep position because i feel like you could run a robert covington or a ron artest both of whom by the way are currently on my no money spent team you could run both of those guys and have complete success with them like i don't feel like you're going to be at a massive disadvantage if you go into a game with artest and covington as your small forwards versus Kawhi and carmelo like i don't think there's going to be a huge difference in the performance of your small forwards which is honestly probably a good thing that the position has some depth and some flexibility uh, but yeah hopefully y'all did enjoy this video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace